What's up guys? This is Severin Steelsmith. Um, I haven't done an amp video in a while, so um, I've gotten a couple new uh, new amp acquisitions and I wanted to do a quick little vid about my collection as of now, which is um, February 2014. So let's start out uh, once again with the first amp I ever purchased or uh, was given to me for my birthday way back in, when I was in high school. This is a Soldano Atomic 16. It's a 20 watt amp that uses EL84s, single channel, no effects loop, super basic. Um, this is essentially kind of like a, almost like a very low wattage JCM800 kind of sound. It has about that same kind of gain level and uh, a lot, lot quieter, which is great. You can really crank this up without it getting super loud. Um, beneath that, we have my Fender Bandmaster. Um, I purchased this from my friend Matt. A uh, guy who, I, who lives in Raleigh that I used to be room, roommates with. Um, this is my first vintage Fender amplifier. This is essentially like a kind of like a Fender Bassman, same kind of two channel setup, each with their own inputs. Um, but this is a vibrato. I think the Bandmaster or the, the Bassman might have uh, reverb. I'm not a Fender expert, but uh, I think that's correct. But this one sounds great. This is what I use for clean, clean stuff in the studio. Um, this has an updated uh, or a beefier power transformer, which explains why uh, I was getting a lot kind of big, big uh, bassy sounds with this one when I supposedly was not supposed to, because these usually have a smaller output transformer. So uh, that explains that. Uh, and also, I had this recently serviced, and uh, it's it's just ready to rock. So it sounds great. Beneath that, we have my pride and joy. This is a um, pre 500. This is a revision C actually. Um, serial number 98 Mesa Boogie Dual Rectifier. This is uh, sort of the holy grail of the Rectifier series. Um, like I said, this is revision C, so the very, very first revision they made that was available to the public. This one sounds pretty amazing. It's a lot tighter, a lot more, a lot warmer, I guess, in terms of the Rectifier series. Um, has the really cool reverse, got the chrome face plate and the, um, or I guess in the black diamond plate. Um, I got this locally on Craigslist of all places from a guy and I took a risk on it because it wasn't working properly. I got it for a thousand bucks and these go for between fifteen hundred and uh, two thousand, maybe even upwards of that. I haven't checked lately. but. Um, this is just a monster of an amp. I recorded the entire uh, Dark Tower uh, album by my band Ammo Weapon. Put this as the main distorted, kind of gainy, distorted uh, sound. So, amazing amp. All right, moving on. This is also a familiar face. This is my, my Marshall JCM 800 2203 reissue amplifier. Um, this is also a really, really nice amp. 100 watts, incredibly loud, single channel. Um, has two inputs, high and low, and it just it just sounds great. It sounds great uh, distorted, or you know, with the the preamp cranked, it sounds great clean. Um, just an awesome amp overall. Really, that kind of classic Marshall sound, as far as classic, maybe more modern. I guess '80s '80s is not modern, but uh, it's, uh, it's you know, it has that sort of Marshall Marshall identifiable Marshall sound. And you can put a boost or some sort of pedal in front of this thing, and it really sounds great. And here is a new addition to the, the fold. This is a Marshall um, 1959 S, I'm gonna mess up the, the name, but 1959 SL2, I think, Super Lead. Um, this is actually a modded amplifier. This is has the uh, Aldrich, or the Nick mod. The, an Aldrich style, Doug Aldrich style mod by FJA. This was an impulse buy, an expensive impulse buy of that. Uh, um, I got this for about $1,100 um, from a guy off a guitar form. It sounds great. Has some pretty cool features. Um, it operates just normally, you know, how you would you'd see on here, except for instead of the uh, the this is basically your master volume, and then this is your gain, which is a push-pull, so that's convenient. Only this top input works, and then there's a clean channel, a depth, and uh, some other stuff on the back. 
So on the front it looks like your standard uh, Super Lead, but it's really a modded Marshall um, thing. So I wanted to have that modded Marshall sound, although the, to be honest, the uh, 800 with a boost in front sounds about as good. Alright, so here's a little bonus section right here. I purchased this. This is on the bottom. It's a, a D Markley RM ADDR, which is a old two channel um, sort of hybrid solid state uh, tube amplifier. I got this for dirt cheap at Music Around just for fun. It was like 80 bucks. But basically, what it is, it's we have a clean channel on top and a dirty channel on the bottom. And it is one of the best cleans I've ever heard, to be quite honest with you. So I got this to have in the studio just for different kind of sound. It just sounds super, super lush and, and just very clean. Um, you can get some dirt out of it too. And the second channel, it doesn't sound bad. I haven't really you know, experimented a whole lot with it. So I think this has a solid state power amp and then a two tubes, one for each channel as the kind of preamp section. So. And there's my old guitar teacher's 88 MP1 up top. Don't worry, Andy, it's still here. All right, so moving on to the practice area of the my house. This is my Igniter Mod 50. I've gone over this several times, but um, this is my amp that I've used live with my band. I've tried to replace it with, with uh, one of the Marshalls. I've tried to use this dual rectifier up here, which I'll get to in a second. I've tried to use a 5150. But I just keep coming back to this. It works great, sounds great. Um, no need to change it. Only thing I've changed lately is I put a EG5, which is kind of like a Saldano SLO-ish type uh, module in um, for my high gain module. Kept the basement module over there, and it just it sounds great. Um, love the sample. And since we're here in the neighborhood, this is my Mesa Boogie uh, dual rectifier trimmer verb, which. I actually kind of have for sale at the moment, um, but uh, it's it's a great amp on its own, in its own right, but I already have a dual rectifier and I don't necessarily need it, so I'm kind of thinking about selling it, um, but uh, it has that big dual rectifier sound, which is, is great, you know, you gotta, you gotta have that in the stable, but like I said, I already have the other one, so I'm not going to sell the pre-500, I'll just get rid of this, possibly. All right, so pardon the low light in this area, but uh, this is an also oops, a, requ a, a recent acquisition. This is a, my PV5150 block letter head. Um, sounds great. You know, what can you say? It's a, it's a 5150. It does exactly what it says it does. Um, but I want to use this for recording and whatnot. I got this for pretty cheap. It was about 500 500 bucks plus shipping, which I think is a great price for an early one that works, sounds great. Um, people rag on the clean channel, but I think it doesn't sound that bad. Um, and you know, it's 5150, so you're not buying it necessarily for the clean channel.